Right, I've got a bit of a wacky experiment going on here. I need this piece of pipe to have a bit of a curve to it. Uh, it gives me more space inside the uh, powerhouse. I don't really want to buy a 45 degree join because um, it takes up loads of space because the joins are massive. So I'm experimenting with this. Got that ratchet strap around there. Now I'm going to take it up to the chimney and put some heat on it off, off the top of the chimney. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's not going to take me too long to find out. You can tell that it's changing already. It's buckling in the middle. Yeah, it's not working. So I need to put something in the middle. I need to pack it with sand. Try again. Right. I'll try this again. This time it's packed with sand. See, it's taking quite a nice curve, actually. So I'm going to put some heat to it leave it overnight probably see if it holds its shape and um, then reset it maybe curve it a bit more tomorrow it's working okay it seems to have worked it's got quite a bit of heat to it unfortunately the uh, the wheel started melting into the pipe a little bit but I don't think it's going to be too much problem because it's well overrated anyway see what it looks like once it's uh, once it swings back a little bit all right I'm going to leave that overnight and we'll have a look at it tomorrow okay I just got it hanging next to the uh, wood stove here, I'm not going to leave it unattended, don't worry, it's only going to be while I'm here. I'm going to leave that now for at least a few hours to sort of get an idea and sort of hold the shape a little bit. Then I take it off, reset the ratchet strap, try and pull it a tiny bit more. See if we can't get a nice uh, parabolic curve to it, which would be lovely, much more efficient. Okay, it's a couple of hours later and uh, now it's cooling off in the stream. Hopefully that'll make it set. So. We'll take it out of there now and see how much it springs back. Undo this, give it a go, see how much it moves. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. How about that? I burnt it a little bit under here, but they don't go far, only a millimetre or something, so I'll probably just melt those back. I say this has only got a couple of bar in it, and it's 12 bar pipe, so it's not going to burst there or anything. But it worked, check that out, nice curve. So I empty the sand out of it, and that's going to be the piece that joins into the turbine, like that. Got nice, isn't it? Sweet! Okay, so I'm working on getting the uh, plumbing figured out and get the turbine mounted in here. So here's our bit of pipe that we ran. Sorry that we, we ran, that we bent on the video. Nice curve to it, it's exactly what I wanted. That's going to go under there like that. Using 50mm pipe at this point and it eventually tapers up to 110mm. Shut off valve is going to be on the outside because it makes it hassle to put it inside. I have to put lots of bends in it and um, I don't want to do that. So that's going to be on the outside. It's actually going to sit right there. The rest of the pipe is going to go off under underground up there. So we're going to get this plumbing connected up and figure out where the turbine is going to go and get the turbine mounted. So just had this nice pressure gauge turn up. So it's perfect within our uh, pressure range. So we're going to be around here somewhere. So. It's good, it's a good range, nice big glycerin filled pressure indicator. Really important for hydroelectric because um, the diagnostics and things, you can see how much pipe loss you've got because you know when you turn, when the water's flowing, the decrease in pressure will tell you how much loss you've got due to pipe loss friction. So there's that, so I'm just going to get all these PTFE'd up and um, in the shed here, get them all nice and sealed and we're going to put that back on the, uh, on the turbine. Never figure out which way round this stuff goes on. I've always struggled with it. Never seem to get it to work nice. There we go. That's nice, that's better. Let's get that screwed into there. Have I done it the right way? Something about that, I can never get it right. 
tapered threads anyway, so it should bite. So I'm going to tighten that down, get this connected up, and then we'll have a nice pressure gauge. Apologies for the fact that it's a little bit dark. It's kind of late in the day. I've had uh, trouble today with, um, with the crew and the company not delivering the pipe like they're supposed to. Just general aggravations and hassle. So, have a nice best day. Somewhere around here. Let's see. So that is essentially essentially how it sits. Show you from out here. Alright, so I need to make some adjustments to this leaning forwards. Got to do a few things, but that is essentially where the uh, intake water comes in and the adjustment is on this uh, on this needle valve. So I'm going to do a bit of figuring out, cut some bits of wood, make a base for it to sit on, and then I'll show you what I come up with. And if uh, anyone's wondering so uh, why I've done it like this instead of using like flexible hose, it's because uh, I've got the least number of curves and I can use fairly large pipe for a fairly short distance. I've done my calculations of losses for, for this here, the rate of power, and my loss is about uh, 300 millimeters of head for this bit here and generally I've got about six five to six percent of full full um, rated power of losses in the pipe so that's then going to taper up to the big pipe and get buried under all this mass to hold it all there so I'm going to cut some bits of wood and see if I can get this mounted in it also one thing I haven't shown you guys yet is that I changed the uh, the alternator for one that uh, spins a lot faster for the same uh, voltage so now I should have the correct uh, RPM for the head that I've got and for the voltage that I want so this is going to spin at about about 2000 RPM make quite a noise it's also got nice couplings and everything on it so the um, everything is all lined up now I did all of the I changed all the angle of this as well so now the water jet hits it perfectly where it's supposed to so yeah I did some modifications I didn't make a video of it but it's modified now, so all those initial issues are sorted out. So I've just uh, mounted two bits of wood in there. I'm going to get it mounted and screwed to there. And then probably carry on uh, with it tomorrow because it's getting dark now. Right, I'm running out of daylight fast here, so apologies for that. I'm just going to try and get this connected and at least sit in it. And I'll carry on tomorrow. This should sort of line up with this with a bit of jiggly pokery. Just as I stopped recording it, it went in. So, let's see if I can get this maneuvered to where it's supposed to be. So close. What is it that's causing that? I think it needs to come back, is the issue. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so it just needs to come back a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And that wants to go that way. Okay, so I just want to move, move this back. And then that will sit there. New day today, nice and sunny out, which is nice. So I'm just getting the uh, turbine fixed to these two bits of wood here. Just stop just trying to hold it from tipping over all the time now. So I get these in and then uh, and start filling in a bit around here, putting some stone under these, making it a bit tidier. Got a bit more cobbing to do in here, a little bit, not a lot. 
finish that, just a few little spots. And then I'll start running conduit for cables and things and we'll get this place tidied and sort of finished off. Okay, so I've got the uh, turbine mounted on the bits of wood there. Use those nice stainless steel fixings. So now I'm going to fill in a bit so I don't get too much splashing on the walls. And start figuring out how to run the cables and stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's how it's going to sit. I just got to do some tidying up jobs in there now and make it look a bit less muddy and it's all wet and you know where I've been stepping around in it. So get all that sorted out and put a light in here once this is running. We'll have a light in here and uh, might even whitewash the walls so it's a bit brighter. So yeah, it will get there. Okay, that's how it's going to sit. Just added those two little bits of wood either side just to stop any splashing going up the sides of it there. Just need some uh, some dry days now for everything to dry out a little bit. And then uh, start running some conduit, run some cables. I'm going to rent a mini digger and bury a, uh, an armoured cable all the way up, up the hill and back over to the shed. Which I've got the armoured cable so that'll be a video soon. And now I'm going to go and start making up the pipe that's going to go, that's going to taper from, from that fitting up to the full size which is all going to be buried under this mass of rock here so I've got quite a job to do there so I'm probably going to start doing that as well so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video that's the uh, turbine mounted how it's going to sit in there and thanks for watching